everybody. 47 Mark IV here, back with Revelation. So, did a little work in between episodes, as usual. Nothing really crazy. You know, cleaning some stuff up. Uh, worked on our animal farm just a little bit. Added a couple of things. Uh, so, thanks to the Dark Preacher, reminds me of the Hydrator. Uh, so, added that block, and it's really just give it power. And, you know, it's hard to see, but there's like a little water particle effect. And then I had a debate. I've got my choice between worms and fertile soil from rustic. And, you know, I think they both do the same thing, but you can't put worms on fertile soil. So I chose the fertile soil just because I'd need like a dozen worms. And, you know, there's already enough entities over here as it is. So I decided not to have, uh, you know, a whole bunch of these guys crawling around. I mean, they'd be good if I need the place watered, but I've got one water block, which is taken up by the hydrator anyways, so not really a big deal. I did add a uh, black hole tank and an absorption hopper. I mean, I got 53 buckets of XP. I'll probably change this out to some ender tank system. And I did put chickens in here, so we had to add a thing for eggs, because, you know... That's a thing. And it's super annoying, right? You fly by your chickens and you get a stack of eggs. Oop. That dude got wrecked. So overall, this is working really well. But the thing that's really boosting it right now is I did go ahead and make a uh, fertilizer export. And I went ahead and put that all uh, in this one. Here we go. Into the plant fertilizer. So <laughs> it's actually making more than I need. I probably have to speed up the other two machines. And so this guy should be full. Yeah, it is. And this guy should be full. Oh, and let me show you the milk. Uh, let's see, milk right here. So I got 11 million millibuckets. I think we're good. But, you know, endless tank. I just can't help keep collecting it. I don't know. And I'm sure you saw the big black and yellow box over here. So uh, I want to do a thing today, so I've really just pre-built myself a box. There's nothing else in here. It's just a 9x9. Nine nine. And for what I want to do is I want to work on this guy. So, you know, normally I don't use the cleaver. It's too slow. It's not really my uh, weapon of choice. But we have Tinker Tool leveling, which means if I give this guy enough experience, I can just keep getting levels. And so I want to build a machine to do that for me today. And I got kind of a fun plan. Now, the thing I also am going to need is uh, blaze rods. So I can get both done with one machine. And I think that's what we're going to go and build today. So I guess step one, oh, I'm going to take down my sign here. I had to leave myself a sign that says, remember to chunk load. Uh, you know, the pack's not so good with chunk loading staying on. And I need to chunk load this one chunk right here, uh, because that's how I fly, and I need that to run. Uh, so, the, uh, oh, I made myself a back door, too. That way I can get out here. I thought that was kind of nice. Uh, so what we need here is we're going to need a spawner. So let's jump into the nether. Let's grab one drop of evil, and let's go pick ourselves up a spawner. I think we've got everything we need to get this done. All right, so right out here. All right, here we are. Uh, so let's check journey map here real quick and see. So I've got myself, yeah, I'm going to just turn this one on, blazes. So blazes, you're generally that way. All right, let's roll. I've got myself a pretty good tunnel that leads kind of out. Our nether portal was kind of in the middle of, you know, just solid nether rack. All right, so we should be able to book it right over here. There's a uh, fortress, and yeah, can I poke through like this little hole? Because that would be handy. All right, so there's a blaze spawner somewhere right over here. Right, there you are. All right, let's grab this guy. Whack! Ha! Didn't even get a chance to spawn blazes. And you know, we could probably just TP right back to the house. Let's grab this guy. And there we go, back at the house. Man, that's handy. And, you know, that was, uh, no. Was that this? 
How do I, how do I see the, yeah, there we go. So I put some ender pearls in here. I probably should fill it up. I mean, we've got the pearls for it, right? Uh, 20,000 pearls. Yeah, we got, we got a few. And I should show you, by the way, coming down here. So I did add a second phytogenic insulator. We make enough of, uh, of the phytogrow that I can just about run two of them. So that basically takes care of all of my farming needs right there. You know, you need sugar cane. Well, I threw it in there for a couple of minutes. Same thing with cactus. And I got myself a couple of thousand. Done. All right. So anyways, so here's my plan. Let's go ahead and we'll take this blaze spawner and we'll put it in this room. We'll spawn blazes. And then I want to bring them into the base and automatically kill them uh, using my cleaver without me having to do anything. And so I'm going to go build some parts here. Let's, uh, let's get this all together, because this isn't a bad build at all. So let me think about this. I'm going to want, clearly I'm going to want a mechanical user. Got that. I'm going to want an absorption hopper. Absorption. All right, this guy right here, I just don't have eyes of ender. There we go. All right, absorption hopper. Got it. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to need a couple more eyes of ender. I might as well craft a couple. All right, uh, black hole tank. Definitely going to want one of those. Black. Got to learn to type. All right, so let's see. Black hole unit, black hole controller, black hole tank. And got all those pieces. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to put some of this on AE2. So I'm going to need myself not an export. I'm going to need an importer and cable. Yeah, right there. And let's see what we've got for glass. Oh, I got more ineffable glass. Yeah, that'll work really nicely. I uh, got all of those, and then we're going to need the stuff from Draconic. So let's go ahead and grab uh, some of these things. So let's go at Draconic. I'm going to need a dislocator. Ah, so close. All right, so close. You know, I'm just going to break one of these down. Although I'm probably going to need a whole bunch now that I think about it. Let's, uh, let's look. No, I'm going to go at Draconic because I want a bunch of this Draconium Obsidian. Yeah, so they're all going to need Blaze Powder. So I'm going to keep like two rods aside and we'll go grind these guys down. Hey, wait, where's my elevator? Over here. I probably ought to make my elevator a different color. All right, let's, uh, yeah, this guy will work right here. Go ahead and pulverize. Cool. And we'll go back up. All right, so here we go. We got the uh, dislocator. So I'm going to need one dislocator. I'm going to need a dislocator receptacle. Uh, so one of those. And then, you know, I got to think about the number of those obsidian blocks. So if this is nine by nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So that's what? Nine, 18, 36. And then I've double counted the corners. So that's really 32 blocks. All right. So I'll need 33 of those obsidian. Uh, these guys right here. Hopefully I've got enough. I don't feel like I do. I might have to set down that spawner and, uh, I, I totally have to kill a few. All right. Well, I mean, good thing we got a spawner. Let's grab a couple of speed upgrades and, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll go ahead and put them in the room. I was afraid that this would happen, that we just wouldn't have enough. Yep. So I'll go ahead and put this guy right in here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need a thing to turn it on and off too. All right. So I'm going to kill some blazes because it's probably pretty dark and I'll come back to you. All right. Got the rest of my blaze rods. Picked up my spawner because it was a little intense, actually. And I've already thrown the blaze rods in the pulverizer. So we'll grab the rest of these guys here. Uh, let's see. Right there. So I think I said 33, maybe. I'll chuck that in that in there. All right, so that was Dislocator. Uh, this guy right here. 
All right, got that. And you know, I am going to want some redstone stuff here. Uh, I want to be able to turn this guy on and off. So I want some RF tool stuff here. Just to make my life a little easier. So I'm going to take a transmitter. And we ought to make a stack of redstone torches. All right, so I'm going to take a transmitter. I'm going to take a receiver. Let's see, I need a couple of comparators to get that done. All right, I'm going to take a lever. Because for right now, doesn't have to be fancy. Just has to work. I've got an extra block. Yeah, I think this will work. All right, so let's do this. Oh, went out the wrong door. Let's do this. Let's come back in here. Yeah, you can see how I got it. I had to go through the roof. Like I said, it was intense. All right, so I'm going to put that guy there. We'll put this block. I'm going to go ahead and put my spawner down. And quickly turn it to redstone on. And I'll throw the speed upgrades in there. Oop. Well, that kind of works. We'll do that. I need a block to set against. That right there. And then I want the receiver. And I can never remember who clicks on who. Is it like this? No. So it's the receiver clicks on the transmitter. All right, so I've got the receiver right here. And then I should be able to put this right there. All right, so now I can turn this uh, on and off from outside. And I'll take this torch out. Well, actually, I'm going to need the torch for a second. And, you know, this is precision drilling. Let's take that out. So I'm going to take out the bottom row of bricks here. Now, I left this like this, and actually, I'm probably going to put the bricks around the edge. So, I left this like this in case we want to convert this into a small mob farm later. Yeah, I, I would just have to put these bricks in just to seal it up in case I want to do Cursed Earth. All right, so right here, right there, and I'm, I'm not putting a block there. I'm actually just leaving myself a reminder. Uh, that's where the pedestal, the receptacle is going to go. And then it should be just fill everybody else in, uh, just like this. Oop, oh, no. This stuff is tough to break. There we go. Got to be a little bit more careful. If obsidian is bad, draconium-infused obsidian is worse. Oh, I'm off by one. I forgot about that block. All right, cool. Got that. And you know, for right now, super fancy. There, there's our control system. All right, so now the only thing I got to do is to put a valid dislocator in there. And I know exactly where I want these guys to go. Uh, hello, pig on the roof. I want them to come in the base. I mean, let's bring them to us. That's what this spot right here is for. So I want the blaze to land right here. And I'm pretty sure I shift click and that binds it to that spot. Now let's go check it in that receptacle. Yeah, right here. And I think I click it in there. Yep, it's formed the portal. And then I jump in there and I land right here. Cool. All right, so they're going to land right there. Let's put our uh, mechanical user right here. And can I turn you around? I can. Right, so if they land there, they're going to be in this block and that block. I think I can put this guy here and be okay. I'm thinking I should put him one block up just for safety, but you know, I'm just going to go with it. Let's see. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put him up here. All right. So let's check direction here. I am looking south. So that's north. That's west. All right. So north, you're going to be fluids. And again, right now, just going to chuck this tank right here. Uh, let's see right there. And then west will make items. Yeah, just like that. And with that guy being an inventory, I should be able to uh, stick an import bus right on it. Right? And then just cable him over. And hopefully I've got enough channels left on that cable. I think I do. I don't know. We'll find out if I don't. All right. Let's go ahead. We'll put stone bricks. And we'll stone brick in this guy. Yeah, I think that works. 
Uh, I got some stuff left over. Do I have silk touch on anything? No. Uh, I'll put these in in just a second. <clears throat> I just hate to lose too many because I can't silk touch them out. Uh, you know what? I'll put one. They can't get out, and that should work. All right, got that done. Uh, so the other thing is, I want to repair my cleaver. But it's demon metal. And demon metal's, of course, a little different. Uh, I'm going to need a cobblestone or two. So let's grab some cobblestone. So you can't just grab demon metal. Ah, I forgot to grab the metal. Now you can't just take demon metal and put it in, uh, you know, in here and repair it. Actually, let's grab some demon metal. Right here, demon. I have a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to need like eight, maybe. All right, come back over here. I might as well get these guys cooking up, but I'll show you you can't repair it first, actually. So I put that in there with that, and nothing, no repair. Of course, it's got to be different, you know, demon metal. So I'm going to put these in the smeltery, and we'll come over to this guy. And do I have, no, I don't have a pattern yet. So I'm going to need this one here, the shard pattern. So I'm going to take that guy and throw him in there. And I'll come in here, and I'll make myself a stone shard. Do I have... Yeah, I got aluminum brass right here. And so let's melt that down. And I'll stick it right there. Should only take a minute to melt down. And then using this system, I'll just turn the uh, redstone clock on. And that should make me about a stack of demon metal shards. And then I can repair my cleaver. And hopefully I get a few more modifiers, by the way. So let's see. Do I have any? No, I don't have. Uh, nope. Didn't put any uh, reinforcement on it. All right. So, oh, oops, oops, oops. I got too many of the uh, aluminum brass. Let's pour that guy out. All right. I was like, why didn't that work? Broken textures you're supposed to pour out. All right, so this will take just a minute. You know, we'll grab a couple of shards. I don't know. I might actually need like eight or ten shards. I don't know. Let's see how broken this guy is. Let's grab two shards. Stick our cleaver in here. Oh, yeah, that's broken. Okay, well... I mean, I can always let that pour out, and we can go ahead and start killing mobs and, you know, deal with that later. So I should be able to put this guy in here and say, uh, Entity, left-click, upper left-hand slot only. And, you know, I'm going to get my frying pan out of my bag just in case things go terribly wrong. And that should spawn blazes in there, and it should kill them. There's a lot of should on this plan. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, do I still have... Yeah, I still have this block. Let's put that back. Everybody is still set. Oh, oh, no! Ah! <laughs> uh, guess what? It works perfectly. Oh, man! Oh, my bed's obstructed or something. All right, give me a minute. I have got to run. I forgot how far from spawn we are, you know, like a thousand blocks away. Uh, so it took a while. And, you know, I'm going to fix that, too. I know exactly what the problem is. I had a nice long run to think about it that I don't have a bed. I have a sleeping bag and a sleeping bag gets you through the night but does not set spawn. So let's fix that first. Let's fix that right away. All right, so let's make ourselves a bed. Uh, yeah, a just plain old white bed will be fine. Thank you. I need a place to put this guy that's not super annoying. Yeah, I assumed I had a gravestone in there. Yeah, right back here. That'll be fine. There we go. Spawn point is set. We'll eat these couple of things. I had to grab all kinds of food on the way. 
Uh, let's get ourselves a lever right here. And we'll turn this guy to redstone control right there. Redstone on, so I want to turn that off. All right. Let's remove that death point like it never happened. Get in here, and yep, there's my stuff. All right, cool. Get organized here just a little bit. Get all this stuff, and that right there. Yeah, and generally everybody's in the right spot. I kind of like that. I wonder if I can soul bind some of this stuff. Soul stealer. I gotta think, is there a way I can soul bind? Yeah, those are soul shards. It's a soul bead. I'm not exactly sure what I do with that. Soul powder. I don't know. I guess uh, if I nether starred, I'd need nether stars. I don't know. I gotta think about it. Anyways, how about we don't get killed by the whack a mole machine? Uh, let's see. Did I get. Yeah, I got my angel ring. That's the thing I really want to make sure. That, uh, you know, is soul bound. All right. Anyways. So let's see. Uh, I just wanted the torch. I just wanted the torch. Now, if I do this. All right. <clears throat> Blaze are spawning. And they should be going into the base. Hopefully not getting out of the base. Right in here. And we'll turn this guy on. Boy, you know, this doesn't even need to be dark glass. It doesn't. It could be any old glass, right? Is, let's just grab, yeah, this thickened glass is nice. Because, you know, we're inside, so it doesn't matter if those guys see the, the daytime or not. All right, let's put that there. And I guess I'll just break this guy out. No, I know how to pick that up. I know how to pick it up. Hold on. I need a, uh, a glass cutter. Right, from Extra Utilities. Can't I... Can't I take this guy and do this? Oh, and it picked it up, but it totally worked. That's a uh, silk touch for glass. But yeah, that's it right there. So we got Fluid XP coming in. We should be getting all kinds of blaze rods. Let's check here. 34, 35, 36, 37. Look at him go! Holy cow! Oh, I've got luck on my blade. That's why I don't have uh, reinforcement. We got all kinds of luck going on. Cool. So it's going to keep spawning them. It'll keep killing them. This guy's going to... Uh, my magnet's pretty strong. This guy will level up. So there we go. 3062 to 3082. Yeah, cool. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it run for a little while. I'm going to uh, AFK at the base, I think. Uh, I am going to do one thing first, though. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's shut this guy off. Yeah, I'm going to want controls for this inside, but being that it's all redstone control and wireless, that shouldn't be a big deal. So let's go learn about how many ingots it takes to do stuff. Right? Or how many um, nuggets. All right, so we'll come right out here. No, that's the back door. I gotta make these doors look different, I guess. So we should have poured out... Really? I only got 14 shards? I only got 14 shards out of all of those ingots? Uh, really? That doesn't seem right. Hold on. Demon? I'm gonna melt one down. I just need to know. Is it really that bad to exchange rate? That I put 8 ingots in there. All right, so there's those, and, okay, so that will take it all the way. All right, let's see how many, 13, no, 12, no, 11. Oh, it's going to take 11 shards to get it totally repaired. Okay, we might actually have to set up uh, to have some, you know, some more shards. The only thing I didn't think of is, did I leave? No, I didn't leave any in here. All right, I'm probably going to have to make more, so let's go ahead and get these guys together. Hold on, a brick. And, you know, we'll make the we'll make the process, you know, I'll just set it up right here. I think this is where I had it set up. 
I didn't think I was going to need that much, so I'm like, oh, I'll make a couple of stacks and then tear it down. Right? Just like that, and then lava bucket. All right. There it is. It's poured out. Really? That's it? That's it? I guess I probably could have taken a look at it right here. It says half, but I don't feel like I'm getting half an ingot's worth. Maybe something weird happened just because I died and the whole place went unchunk loaded. Because that looks right. I don't know. Either way, we're set up to do it again. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, let's turn these guys back on. Let's turn them on. And we'll put our sword in there, and then it's AFK time. So it's been, I don't know, 30 minutes maybe? Uh, and I made some changes. So if you can see, this guy's killing them fairly regularly, right? Like it's just one after the other after the other. Let's go shut off the uh, mob farm here. And we'll go over the changes. So shut that off. I did put a light up top. Uh, I did go back to the nether. And I grabbed a second spawner, so I just put another uh, redstone receiver in there. Pretty easy. Uh, let's come back inside. I did, uh, let's see. I did think of something uh, just like a minute after I cut. And I went ahead and changed the blade. So I changed the blade to something with higher durability that's easy to repair, like Ardite. And that way I don't spend demon metal, you know, repairing this guy. And if you can see, I've already got myself two modifiers on it. Pretty easy. So, right now, you know, I was going to do reinforcement, uh, but, you know, I'm struggling. I think I'm going to do redstone and get myself some more speed on it, right? Do that, and I'm going to get a little bit more sharpness on it. That should give me sharper. There we go, 144. And then I'll do uh, reinforcement for the next round. So, there we go, ready to go again. You know, this one's got pretty high durability, 2200. I mean, I could change some more parts and make it better, but, you know, I just went and made myself another blade. You're going to spend the demon metal either way. So I thought that was a pretty nice change. Let me throw all of this stuff in. And then the last thing, just for fun and silliness, uh, let me show you what I did when I was processing some demon metal. So I was making some, and I hate leaving this guy here because I'm going to stand in the lava. So... I've got a hatch. <laughs> uh, I love it. Look at it. I just thought that was a fun block. That's from uh, Malice's Doors. I forgot we had that mod in here. So that's why I usually pick it up is because I don't like a regular trap door. And I'm going to end up, you know, falling into the lava. So now I can leave it out here. And when I need it, there it is. Cool. So I like that a lot. We got ourselves a uh, weapon leveling system. That makes just a ton of blaze rods. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, almost 2,300 blaze rods. Dudes, we're set. I mean, I can make a blaze rod factory now. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I thought that was a really fun build. So I'm going to call it there for today. I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, throw me a like or a comment. I always look forward to seeing those. Or hey, even consider subscribing. Uh, I really appreciate that. And then I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>